Art Museum in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Uh, I brought you here because nobody comes here, honestly, because it's beautiful, it's amazing. We're in the lobby right now, the main lobby, uh, with the massive dome above. Every time I've come here, it's been quiet and it's so big and it's just so beautiful. It's such a shame that people don't know about it. From what I've read about it, the feel is set up like a mosque, so you feel that Islam is a peaceful, calm religion when you step in straight away. And then from there, when your mind is clear, you can start you know, absorbing the information. This is, uh, this is the floor that I really, really love. I mean, I don't know if it's a girl thing or what it is, you know, um, but just looking at small little miniatures of buildings, I'm just like, joy. This is brilliant. You'll learn the history and how Islam itself traveled throughout the world and, and how it came to be. We have China, Islamic architecture in China, and then you've got the Taj Mahal, obviously, the symbol of love. This is actually the curtain that is used to cover the door of the Kaaba in Mecca, and it's called the Kiswa. And this one's actually the original curtain cover from 1964, so the Islamic Art Museum of KL managed to get an actual curtain cover, an actual kiswa from the door of the Kaaba, which is a very big deal because Kaaba is the center of the religion. I think Malaysia has done a really good job of, of being modern, technologically advanced, and the people have access to the world now, and they do, they travel and whatnot, and the world has access to Malaysia, which is great. Um, but I do sense, in terms of the clothing of the people, um, uh, the messages that are, that are sent out from the leaders, there's a protectiveness for the culture and religion that is stronger than it used to be. And that, I, I feel for sure. That's just my opinion. Though. Okay, so you've seen the controlled, clean, proper side of KL, um, the heart of KL, the religious side of KL. So now I'm going to bring you deep into the melting pot of KL, so to speak, uh, to a place that we call a mama. Mama is a stall. It's, uh, it's, it's raw, it can be a bit dirty, but it's delicious, it's cheap, it's where everybody eats, and you're just a snob if you don't go to a Mama, okay? So I'm going to take you there. I don't know what you're going to think, but let's just go anyway. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> This is um, quite a popular neighborhood called Bangsar, and this is the main street of Bangsar. This is Jalan Kelawi. So this is Felita. Uh, it's like a family place. Everyone, everyone can eat here. Expats, local, and this is one of the more popular ones. It's actually known to be the best. Mama. Now, Mamaks are Indian Muslim people. Uh, they're Tamil Muslims, actually, who migrated here. You can find them in small stalls. This is like a more famous version of it. So it's like the posh of the Mamaks. So yeah, so that's good. This is roti tissue. Uh, it's just like a really thin version of roti. It's uh, roti means like bread, obviously. Uh, anyone who's been to Asia must try roti, roti being bread. Tandoori is a chicken that's cooked in spices and it's put in the oven. Tandoori usually is eaten with the naan itself and this is a basic naan and when you eat naan you've got your dal. You know, this is not spicy. Yellow is not hot. That's all I can say. Go for yellow if you're not used to hot. Um, next to it is uh, an elaborate roti chanai, what we call roti telur, which is egg bread. I grew up eating it, it was a problem. I had to stop. This is biryani, chicken biryani. Now, there's different types of biryani in Asia. This is not like your Indian, it's not, it's not traditional Indian biryani, it's closer to Iranian biryani. 
Bet you didn't know that. Fried chicken, egg, and vegetable. What more do you want in life? It's brilliant. I love it. Mmm, it's not spicy. Hey, it's yummy. <laughs> So we're gonna have to go to the gym tomorrow for seven hours. <laughs> This is Chanka Bukit Bintang. Now it's usually not this busy, there's a party on tonight, but it's early still tonight, and this is how it is. Malaysia, KL, really can provide everybody with both sides. You can have it as conservative as you want, and you can have it as out there as you want to. We consist of the Malays, the Chinese, the Indians, and uh, the culmination of of these cultures, right? And and the way in manner it 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 it, it works together makes KL very very interesting.